So today I am upgrading an HP Pavilion G6 1B37CA notebook PC um, with a solid state drive, a 128GB Toshiba solid state drive, and an additional 2GB of RAM to accompany the 4GB of DDR3 RAM already installed. Um, I will install an extra 4GB stick if I get an order soon enough, but for now we're just going to do 6, because um, that's all I have. And to begin, we just need to flip the laptop over, take out the battery, and then there's two screws to remove this access panel for the hard drive, RAM, and wireless network card. So one thing about this laptop, it was not booting to Windows when it came to me. Uh, I was getting error codes for a dead battery and also an incompatible wireless network adapter card. So, I believe the wireless adapter network card, which is right here, which was previously installed, I believe that came with the system. For some reason, it uh, just kept getting the 702 error message. Um, I couldn't work around it without removing it. Uh, drivers didn't help. Anyway, I ended up uh, finding a replacement in a different HP laptop that I had laying around for spare parts, which was lucky. Um, other people online that I found weren't so lucky. Uh, but anyway, I also had to replace the CMOS battery, which is located right here. So, one benefit is that it's easy access. We removed this one panel and we have access to the card, the hard drive, the CMOS battery, and the RAM. So at the very least, even though it was inconvenient that uh, the wireless network card wasn't working anymore, um, at least access is convenient. I didn't have to take everything apart and put it back together. All right, so we'll start by taking out the hard drive, and there's one screw right here. And I believe we'll be able to remove the caddy just by pulling down like this. And lifting up. So Western Digital 640 gigabyte hard drive. And I did end up uh, reinstalling Windows 7 and getting the correct drivers to work for this wireless network card before I thought about upgrading it. Um, and the hard drive is working okay now that I've formatted it, but we're looking for a more of a long-term solution here for this particular older laptop and I think an SSD will really add the value and the performance, even though it is at the sacrifice of storage space, I think it's worth it. So we will, I'm just going to install it. Well, this is, oh, this is actually held in by four screws. So I am gonna take this out. I'll just time lapse that. It'll allow the SSD to maybe fit in a little more snug instead of just hanging out there while we install Windows. Okay.
Okay, we are ready to plug it into the connections. All right, that's a pretty nice and snug fit. And we'll take our two gigabyte RAM stick, DDR3 RAM, I already tested it with the system, and it is working well. Overall, we'll have six gigabytes of 1333 megahertz, which is not bad. I'd like to upgrade it to eight before we're done, but that might have to happen a little bit later. So, this battery also has to be replaced, and I did am going to place an order once we can verify that uh, Windows 10 is up and running on this machine, and there's no further problems. I'll just plug it in, just why not? It's here. All right. So now we'll plug it into a power source. Flip it over. And we'll grab Windows 10 on a USB stick. Okay, here we have Windows 10. We'll plug that into an available USB port. And here we go. I believe we can hit escape for boot options. There's our battery alert for the dead laptop battery or dying laptop battery. I believe it lasted for about 15 minutes. Okay, we have, let's go into BIOS. Let's just verify that everything's showing up. As we can see here, we have our six gigabytes of RAM showing up. And while we're here, we can show off some of the system specs. We have an Intel Core i3 CPU M370 at 2.4 gigahertz. Still pretty decent for general use, I'd say. Maybe some old games too, we can test that out. Um, yeah, this going to our time and dates correct. I already changed that after I replaced the CMOS battery. Let's go into boot options and the boot order. Okay, our notebook hard drive is number one, that's good. Our USB will move up to number two. And I'd say we're good to go. It will save and exit. And I don't know what the boot option is here, so I'll just hit escape again. Boot device options is F9. And we'll go to our USB. And here we go. Oh, I forgot to zoom out. Hopefully that looks okay. We'll be right back once we have Windows 10 loaded up. Okay, so we'll begin the process of installing Windows 10. We'll hit next, install now, and I just want to demonstrate what I do in command prompt, just like a lot of my other videos in case you've watched them for some reason. Um, after I enter in the product key. Okay, so we have the product key entered in, and we have our terms to agree to, blindly agree to accept license terms, custom install of course, and what we do now, or what I do now, I know this drive is wiped, but I just make a good habit of going into command prompt by hitting shift F10 and entering disk partition 
by typing D-I-S-K, P-A-R-T, and enter. And then we have the option to format the drive once more, or clean the drive more specifically. I want to type list disk. Our SSD is disk zero. Select disk zero. Clean. Exit. And again, OK. Now we're ready to start installing Windows. And hopefully we're good to go. So I'll come back um, once this is all done. And we'll do a little bit of a test. Or we'll showcase some troubleshooting techniques if we do run into another problem. All right, as you can see here, we have Windows 10 up and running, Windows 10 Home Pro, or Windows 10 Home 64-bit. Uh, we have the internet working, the Wi-Fi adapter is working great. Um, everything's loaded up. I think what I will do now is eject that USB and I'm going to run some updates. I'll download Google Chrome and we'll just test this thing out a little bit before we wrap the video up. But so far the performance is looking pretty good. So just to demonstrate, the computer's up and running pretty well and I downloaded Chrome to test it out surf the net a little bit. Um, in my opinion, it's running really well. I think this, this laptop can still be used for a lot of general use. Uh, it'll probably be good for the next few years at least. And I'm pretty happy Don't with it. buy a new car, buy a used rental car instead. Hey, 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 I know what you're thinking, that sound. Yeah, it's got good response. And yeah, I think we'll end the video here. So that's how you install an SSD into an HP Pavilion G6. So I'm just going to shut the laptop down and I'll put the back cover back on and we'll call this video complete and we'll call this install complete. The only thing I might go back to do is install another 4 gigabytes of RAM to make this a little bit more powerful, a little bit faster, and just a little bit better of an experience. But overall, right now, I'm pretty happy with it. And if anything, it's a lot better than what this thing has been doing, which is just collecting dust over the past few years, um, at least to my understanding. So my regular screwdriver is downstairs. Luckily I have this little Phillips head screwdriver right here so I can complete the job. Okay. So here's another video complete and I hope it helped you out and I for one am very happy that this uh, still pretty decent laptop is ready to go. Hopefully the Wi-Fi card troubleshooting will help you out. Uh, if you run into the same problem now you know you might have to replace it with a different card. Um, feel free to leave a comment uh, if you have any questions or if you have any feedback, maybe I did something wrong, maybe I did something right, let me know. Thanks a lot for watching.